Hey everybody, what's up? It's Tom here from toolswithtom.com. Super excited to be chatting to everyone today because I'm going to take you through my one-two punch for making the most efficient Instagram account and scheduling your posts out in a way that you thought was never possible. I'm gonna be using two tools today to show you how I create images on Instagram that are perfectly refined for the platform and then how I go about scheduling these all within my desktop. So not needing to go into the app and actually create the post and then send it from there. I can schedule them all through the desktop so I can do them all in one go, get them ready for the week and not have to worry about jumping into my Instagram account every day. Um, so what I'm going to begin with showing you is the first tool that I'm gonna use, which is Stencil. The other tool that I'm gonna use for scheduling the posts is Grum, which is grum.co. And I'm gonna be using Stencil, which is getstencil.com as a way of showing you how to create these posts. So the reason that I choose Get Stencil and why I find it to be just so fantastic is that it makes it super, super easy to be able to essentially create posts around a specific platform's design. So as you can see here, I've got my post. If I go down to the very bottom, I can click on where it says Instagram post and I can choose a size that is going to best suit my needs. So I can quickly change the post to be set so it's like a, a Twitter post. Obviously, if I did that, I'm gonna have to edit the design a little bit as well. Just give that a moment. So you can edit it to be like that. I'll just set it back to Instagram. So it creates things specifically around the, the resolutions of the posts. I can do ads as well. I can do headers, so things like covers for your, for your actual brand pages, even things like YouTube channel art. So the, the channel art I have on my page was actually done using Stencil. And I can also create custom ones as well. So if I've got specific ones that I use maybe for my blog or for my email as well, I can create and put in the resolutions of those designs so that I can always make new designs very fast using Stencil. So there's essentially four steps I'm going to take you through today in using Stencil. One is selecting the background that I want to go through and use. The next one is going through and selecting the post, uh, the post material, so the actual um, copy that's going to be on the post, the text. The next thing that I'm going to do is show you how you can set up a template and then also add your logo to the template. And then the final thing we'll do is exporting that so it's ready to go. And then I'm gonna show you how we then schedule that one on grum.co for a really fast and efficient way of running Instagram. So the first thing that I'll do is show you what we can do around the backgrounds. So one of the great benefits of using getstencil.com is the fact that they've got a database of 880,000 royalty free photos. So photos that you can just take straight away and be able to use within your campaigns and within your posts. So if I want to go out and find one, so I've got an idea in mind, it's coming up to Monday morning. So I think it'd be really good to do a post about coffee. So if I write in the word coffee here, it's searching the database and you can see that it's, it's provided me with a range of different images that I can use as the background for my coffee post. Okay, so let's go through and select an image that we think might be good to use. What's gonna be a good one? Okay, let's choose this one here. I always love the, the action shots of somebody actually pouring the coffee. Maybe we'll find if there's another one that's on a bit of a different angle. Here we go, this one might be even better. Oops. Cool. No, I still I'm not I'm not set. Sorry guys, I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to this. I reckon we go back to this one. Yeah, that's a ripper. Okay, so you can see straight away that the image looks a fair bit different from when uh, I took it from Stencil and their database. It's already kind of grayscaled it, darkened the image a little bit and added a bit of a tint. And the reason for that is if I click on the background, you can see straight away that it provides us with some really quick fire filters that we're able to add to the image. So I've got some pre-made ones. So for example, at the moment I'm using black and white. There's a range of different ones I can use through in here as well. I can add a blur, I can lighten the image, darken it, 
And what I do as well is I add a little bit of a color overlay, which is going to be in line with my brand colors as well. So let's just have an example if we, maybe let's try using one of the other filters here. Let's try X Pro. Okay, nice. Okay, let's use this as our example. So now we've got a little bit more, a little bit more flavor in the post, a um, little bit more color coming through. The only thing that's a little bit of a concern is it's a bit difficult to see the actual coffee at this stage. So what you're actually able to do with the image as well in the background is click and drag, and that will move that one across. So that's okay. What I could then do then is move up my copy so that everything all fits in the right place. Okay, so now that I've got this all set up, the next thing that I want to go and do is update my post text because at the moment, uh, this text doesn't quite match the image. So one thing that you can do in Stencil as well, which I absolutely love, is they've got down here is the fourth option, a selection of pre-made quotes. So if I search for coffee in here, show you coffee. Okay, so we've got a range of different quotes that then we can use here, specifically around coffee. Okay, so interesting, there's one here from George Washington. Maybe we'll use this one here. Decision-making like coffee needs a cooling process. So if I select the text there, the text that I've been using, the font I've been using, sorry, is called Oswald. And as you can see, I can select my new fonts up here at the top. I can actually add Google fonts as well over here and import them. But I'm gonna go to Oswald use that one there. I'm going to put that on the right. I'm just going to delete my other parts as well. Let's just make this text a little bigger. Cool. I'm going to then drag that one up, put that one in, and I'm going to keep the quote composer name as well. And I'll put that one there. Okay, so you can see straight away We've already got a really good looking post. Um, this has taken a, you know, a matter of minutes and uh, this is without me being overly selective on this. So, you know, you can imagine how quickly you could get through a whole week of posting on your Instagram account without having to, you know, do a great deal of uh, prep time beforehand. So now that this is here, the next thing that I might want to have a go at doing is adding in a logo. So if I click on logo, you can see I've already uploaded in my logos in these ones ready to go, but you can add them in here as well. It's good to use a PNG so that they say they stay transparent. So if I then click on this one here where it says on, you can see that it's already put in that logo and it's put it right down there in the bottom right corner. And so I can consistently leave that in there for my bottom right corner so that things are ready to go. So now that I've got my post through in here, it's essentially good to go. I, I, I could probably spend a little bit more time refining things, maybe darkening the background a little bit, editing with the colors a little bit. But if I'm happy for this to go, all I need to do from here is go to download. It asks me what I want to call it. So I'll just call this Monday Coffee as an example. And then I'll download it as a PNG as it recommends, a JPEG, sorry, as it recommends, and the dimensions of just what Instagram is. Click on download, give that one a moment to render and to get ready to export. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time, so we'll just let it wait. And you can see that that one's now gone through and downloaded. So if I really liked this as a template as well, I could go over to templates and where it says my templates in here, you can see that I've already got a pre-designed template. Let's say I really like this one that I've done here as a template. I can go up to here where it says save. I can save that one as a template. And so what that allows me to do is consistently use that layout where my logo is, the design, 
and be able to use that as my benchmark for being able to create multiple posts as well, which makes things super, super fast in being able to spit out a great deal of really high quality posts. Okay, so I've got my post here, it's ready to go. The next thing that I need to go and do is get this ready for scheduling onto Instagram. So I'm going to go now into Grum. So the URL is grum.co. Might just show you what it looks like for a new user. It's essentially free to sign up and it's been an absolute lifesaver for me because one of the things I definitely don't have time to do is go into Instagram every single day, create new posts and then put them in. So what Grum allows me to do in a super, super fast and efficient way is be able to schedule my Instagram posts for the whole week. It's free to get started. I'll show you what my account looks like over here. So you can see I've got in here, it's got all of my posts that I've previously done. And if I want to add a new post, all I've got to do here is click on that plus, or alternatively, I can just drag in my media as well. So if I click on the plus, maybe I'll even just go, one of the things I like to do, which is even quicker, is if you click on this one here and let it download, once that one pops up, you can even just drag it directly in. Or I could just go, oops, I could just go directly to my downloads. There it is there, stencil Instagram post. You click on that one, drag it in, drag and drop my file in there. There's my beautiful file. And then I can call that whatever I'd like in terms of my, of my caption. Coffee was made to drink on Mondays. One of the things I love about Grum as well is once you've done your caption is it allows you to even go through and add emojis as well. So just give them a moment to load. If I find one of a coffee mug, there we go. And then I'll just add in, I always add in three hashtags that I will usually put on my posts, entrepreneur, marketing, and blogger. And now this one's ready to go. So all I have to do is click on schedule. I choose the time that I want to send that one out. So if I want to do it on Monday, and if I want to do that in the morning, so let's say I want to do that one at 8 a.m., I hit on save. just scheduling it now for the moment. So you can see guys how this saves an absolute ton of time. There we go, it's all ready to go. You can see that it's it's ready to be scheduled. It's part of the list over here. Just waiting for that one to finalize and go out. So I can go through, I can do this another four times and I've got to post a day for the rest of the week. And as you can see, this has only taken a number of minutes to do. So if you set yourself some time, maybe half an hour every week, you can efficiently ensure that you've got Instagram posts constantly being updated so that you're able to engage with your audience and continue to grow your follower base through Instagram. Guys, that's essentially it for today. Uh, super quick one. I hope you've got a lot out of this. Just a reminder of what the tools are. Getstencil.com, awesome tool for being able to create social media posts. And then grum.co as a great way of being able to schedule those posts so that you can get them all done at once and schedule them out on the days you want to post them. That's all for today, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch. Email me at tom at toolswithtom.com and check out some of my other posts as well. I've been doing some really cool stuff on different tools that you can use for getting around the web and for doing some really effective online marketing. So if you have any questions, hit me up and thanks for watching.